this mini session is around looking at pattern recognition actually in the game so we we practice these pattern training type tools tactics training tools etc and obviously these patterns aren't really replicated in our games but we get used to the conceptual idea of what they are trying to um, achieve so this session is actually applying the pattern recognition that we know as individuals do during our games now pattern recognition is not just about tactics that get you to a checkmate position or get pieces off the board that type of thing so like with the puzzles that we're looking at here there's a set type of way that you're expected to move in order to achieve either a checkmate or gain more material etc when you start your game of chess and you're playing from your opening stage there's pattern recognitions right from that process right from the start of your game and it's really getting a better understanding of what you recognize as being a good position what you like what you prefer and what you don't like and what you kind of try and stay away from so your best games are usually your games where you feel comfortable in the position so your pattern recognition is setting you in a, a pathway to actually achieve the position that you're comfortable with so that's the whole idea behind real real pattern training recognition it's not just about the quick and dirty tactics to try and get checkmates or gain material that type of thing like you do in your puzzle training expand on that and do it right from the start and improve your pattern recognition from the opening so playing a 10 minute game zero increment utilizing what we've just mentioned there about recognizing where you feel comfortable where you don't feel comfortable try and jostle for that position is this a poison pawn yes it is so we're not going to do anything with that I'm going to just bring this bishop here because we feel comfortable that we want to go and castle so we're feeling happy but has our king got enough company that's the next stage thing for us as we've always mentioned small piece attack and higher piece can't be wrong now there is the element here where if we do push they could sacrifice to open up space around our king so i'm probably going to re re uh, refrain from that for for now we could attack through the center here which gives us a little bit of a quirky position so i'm actually going to attack through the center and then take with the pot air knight this knight's protecting the bishop if the queen did bishop this did decide to take so i'm going to take with the knight because obviously if we take with the queen then the bishop would take the knight for free so it's a bit of an odd looking um, quirky position knight can come here but it can get taken if we push here it's trying to bait itself into attack the rook i believe so we'll probably stay away from that what else can we actually do should we bring the bishop out x-ray through to their bishop or should we bring the bishop here stopping the knight from coming here when we attack i think i'm going to give my king some company protective company and see if we can shoo the knight away so i'm going to hit the knight now so it doesn't have this safe haven of coming to attack the rook so that's me feeling trying to feel comfortable with the patterns that we're seeing that the opponent is offering to us but at the same time we want to try and cover off their att attacks yes yeah, so that's really nice so we can come now and x-ray through to the queen or is there anything better i'm looking for a smaller piece attacking this higher piece but it'll just get taken and they do have an x-ray through which we're not really happy with so we could bring the bishop back x-ray through but the bishop doesn't have anything supporting so i'm going to simply move the king off of the line based on our, our experience so the knight can protect the bishop if it's still coming in or we can just bring the bishop here holding court nicely although it's hitting a bit of a stone wall situation here but again it's still sort of stopping the um, 
knight from getting there but what I can see is that the queen is going to be coming here so if we move the bishop here queen's coming here looking to put a bit of pressure towards the pawn is that something we want to do I think we can bring it here I was planning on bringing this but if the queen is here then it's gonna have a two on one what else is there can move the knight could attack their bishop but it's going away from our king so I'm not really happy about that what other magic is there da -da 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 -da. could just let the knight take the bishop I'm gonna give my king some company that's the ultimate aim for myself is giving the king company but don't want to trap it in that it gets um, smothermated but um, I think this is a better move I might be totally wrong so they've moved their bishop out of the way and it, we didn't really attack it so we can come and attack their knight it's just if we do do that we're blocking this square then they're going to come and circulate either not that that's majorly bad Small piece attacking the higher piece, getting up, getting rid of it again. The queen's looking to come here, be able to attack this pawn. Hmm. Something's telling me I need to get my queen across here to stop that. But they're just going to bring their rook here. And then I suppose we can come here, 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 here. Wait a minute. So if we move there, then the rook goes here. And we move there. If the bishop takes, then the knight can take. Okay, let's move the queen across. Still with the idea of trying to give my king some company because that's how they win the games, by squishing your king. All right, so he's not going for that, which I'm happy for. Probably not really too happy going here now because of this x-ray that they potentially have. Hmm. Ooh, can't go there. I'm going to have to move it. Just support the pawn. Is there anything else? Bishop, knights getting involved. Move the knight. Get the knight attacking their knight. I think I'm going to try and do that. A little bit worried about this now <laughs> but I suppose we can go here and attack the Queen we might be making it too complicated for ourselves okay so they've not done that they're attacking the Knight so the Queen's not coming here because they'll just take the Knight but we have the idea of attacking their Knight coming here doesn't have to take it can go here and they've eventually come across so we could take their knight for free. Just take a look at that. Take, a, take their knight for free, but they've rushed dead quickly with their rook opposite our queen. So do they win out? Queen's coming and taking the pawn. It's not got a two on one on this. So I'm going to take the knight for free, but I don't know if there's a... Yeah, the queen's coming for the greedy munch. That's fine. Going for the greedy munch so we can try and see if we can get away with going for a checkmate position i think they're probably just going to come back and defend with the queen but then the knight can take the queen so probably just a simple pawn push down but they've slowed down now so they're thinking about it i thought they might have gone oh yeah let's get happy oh job done no it's not i chow chow before i go there his queen is actually protecting the square oh missed a little trick there didn't we oh i was getting excited about getting that in oh so i wasn't caring about them taking stuff because i'm thinking oh i've got a checkmate that's not happened. What do we do? If we go and attack, then obviously his queen can take the rook. It's 
rook is by itself as well. Let's just go and attack the rook. <clears throat> There's no way of fashioning. Could have actually gone and attacked the queen, you know, to get it off the line, but it's not it's gonna do. Yeah, I think I missed, a, missed an opportunity there. I, could, I should have gone here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try and get the... Mind you, you could have just gone there. Still keeping the diagonal. So I don't think it would have made much difference. So the bishop can come here to defend. It's attacking our rook. I was thinking of plans of coming here just to disturb the... Let's just bring the rook here, continue with that then. Yes, that's the tunnel vision, isn't it? You, you see that gold. You see the pattern, the checkmate pattern. And you, you just want to go for it. And you forget about everything else. So attacking the rook, get the bishop here, protecting. Now the queen is off of the line, so they're going to have to do something with the pawn. Or else it's checkmate city for us. I did think they'd probably bring the bishop queen back here, keeping that line. So I think we do have a dancing knight. I'm not sure how much weight that's going to have. Swinging the queen here and stuff. Oh, it's the bishop. There's always an answer, isn't there? Always an answer. Oh. Crikey. Always an answer. Let's just take stuff. Since the queen's not on there, probably swing here. Move the king when he puts a check on. No, he's not wearing them apples, so the knight's protecting that area. Pawn can't actually take the knight because of the queen. Let's push. And the bishop's just holding itself in there now. This might be, make for an interesting bit of a situation. Let's take, check. Probably puts the pawn down rather than moving the king. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't want the queen getting in there, getting around the gaps here. Makes for an interesting situation. Got to be putting a check on my king. Probably getting my bishop off the board somehow, but the queen's protecting, attacking the knight at the moment. Probably pushing the pawn. Which one is it? Is he coming for the check or is he? No, he's moving the knight out of the way. Queen can't go rushing there because the knight is protecting. So we'll go here and then drop in here. He might not do any of that. Oh, I could have taken with the rook, actually. Could have taken with the rook. Let's just drop here. Check on the king. No, he's not doing the check on the king. He's attacking the rook. Let's <laughs> move up. Interesting game. Check. Then he goes here, check. No, he's still not doing that. Uh -huh. 
Well, I'm hoping that they're going to Is it just going to go up and down? I don't think it's going to go up and down, is it? It's plus one. Is there anything across here? And here. No, let's just go here for now. See what they plan to do. They have a master plan. Um, not sure how master plan it is, but closing down my space it's not going for a draw it's plus one what are you doing get on with it comes down for the check now three fold repetition okay it's gone for a draw but nice game um yeah just trying to find our way in basically with the pattern recognition trying to get an understanding of what I like and what I don't like what the opponent looks like they're wanting to like and what it's what it is that they look like they don't like most games the majority of games when you're looking at tactics puzzles and all that sort of stuff um, I would say they're very few and far between where you're going to see tactics in your games a high percentage of your games are going to be games like these you know where it either peters out to be in a draw or you're both shuffling around trying to find some type of position on the board and any fancy tactics that you think of sometimes probably pale into insignificance because it's just not appropriate you know um, it might be that the position the pieces are just not as they would be in a tactical puzzle so you have to just inch your pieces up a little bit at a time supporting your pieces some would class it as a dry game of chess that is a high percentage of the games that are in chess they would be classed as dry uninteresting but to the players they're very interesting if you're the one playing that game you're using all your calculations using all your knowledge and research and strategies planning etc in order to try and gain some type of advantage on the board so the game isn't dry to you but it's just not tactically exciting it's not like pattern recognition training type oh i can do x y and z i'm gonna get checkmate so once you get that into your psyche that games are not going to be all flowery and um, fantastic and sensational then you can start playing real chess.